unfortunately, they've gone home. They don't know whether we will be able to present that later. So I hope you forgive me for putting myself in the, in, 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 in the schedule quite early on before I complete my brain turns to complete much during this week. So I, 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 I wanted to make a quick presentation to you, as this is working for me, which, which, which I have called Get, Getting Happy. Okay? Now, I don't know how many of you, there are particular softwares or particular types of software that you want to use and it mostly works, but it frustrates you a lot because it doesn't do exactly what you want it to do. And for, for me, that's, that's, a, that's a situation I've been in. And I find when I get frustrated with, with my software, the IT guys can usually can often sort it out. My students can usually sort it out. But on, but on, but on other occasions, I still end up doing what I want. What am I going to do? So what, what do we do when we get to that situation uh, where, we, we're, where, where we're saying, why doesn't it work like I want? Now, the, the, the software that has caused me the most stress, really, is Citation software. It's something that I feel that we all we all try to deliver as librarians. Now I know that not all of us like to use automated citation, and that we like students to gen to generate it themselves for academic purpose. And I understand that. But I I I often like to use automated automated systems to help my students. And over the year.
uh, contacted them, and then it turns out <coughs> this is not this is, this is not cheap. This is going to cost money to actually do it. And I stopped and thought, Am I going to try and do this? Should I throw some money at this, or not? And in the end, I said, Well, it's not going to, it's not going to completely break me, so let's go for it. Yeah. Okay. So for me. For me, what I wanted, and I, what I wanted to begin with, we're very much a Googly school. What I wanted to begin with is I wanted something which was Google Docs compatible, which did automatic inline citations direct, directly added, added into, into the, the document. And for those users, both staff and students, able to share project folders with each other with all, with, with all of their citation sources in those, in those folders. And I wanted, if possible, to support the, the, the main culprits in terms of citation styles, MLA, Harvard, APA, Chicago. And I also was thinking, but it would be nice to give people the option to add their own custom styles. Because we don't really quite agree on what exactly we mean by those styles anyway. If you look online, even with authoritative university sources, the results, the results you get for different citation styles are not exactly the same, even when you're trying to do the same thing. I wanted to see, can, can this be done in a way which could be affordable if it was marketed? In other words, could it, it, it needs to work for both institutions and individuals. For institutions, it should be for at maximum one US dollar per user or less, about 20 US dollars for an individual. And let's make it easy, let's not have monthly payments, let's, let's make it annual payments. Well, I have to say, I have been trying to do this, oh my god, it's not easy, okay? And what I can say is that actually it's working. I've done it. But there are some very significant flies in the ointment, okay? Actually, this year, for the first time, I've started using it with my students here. Not too bad, okay? We haven't, we, haven't, we haven't crashed the system so far. And it actually, it's in a stage where maybe I, I can start sharing it with some other schools who might, who, might want, who might want to try it. I've had some successes. I mean, what have I done, okay? So URL acquired, website functional, online sources, online sources interface is developed, the Google Suites account is registered. The Google Docs add-on add interface is, is, is already fun functional in G, in, in G Suites and can be added by anybody in, when you're in, in Google Docs. The logo is created. All of the email blaster stuff that you need, because when people do auto-registrations and those sorts of things, you need it to email blast out registration to change their password. And what happens when they've forgotten their password? So you, you, need all, you need all that functionality. We came up with a pricing plan. I registered, I, registered, I registered a company to support it. And Merchant Bank account was opened. Merchant PayPal account was opened. And uh, the, the trial for institutions rolled out. So that, that, that's my website. So www.sup.sitebomb.com. Okay, and and if you if you if you went there now, it's live. Okay, and let me let me show. Like, this is where I really I really needed a pointer. Uh, I, I'm not going to push this button again on the pointer because it's not it's not helping me. So here we go. Here's a sort. This is this is the user user interface of sources. Now you can see, and this is actually my my account logged on as rgeorge.ep. My work account, and you can see that I've got three year nines who shared their research project with me. This is actually happening. This is this is what this is what's working. Okay, so and I've got one a big list that is the control list for my key stage five medieval history uh, coursework. The research <coughs> history ones you can see how they're not editable, or deletable, because they have been created, and when that has been created. That, that's the interface, it's a, it's a bit loose at the moment, that's the interface, interface for adding sources. But can you 
you see that when you create a project folder, you can actually decide whether collaborators are allowed to share the project folder and whether they are allowed to modify the content. In other words, for the history folder that I created, that's control this from my history department. I don't want students to add to it or delete from it. So we've actually set that up so that you can make it so that they can't. And that's why I couldn't delete these ones, because that was made using, using, using a higher level authority log on. Okay? So that's that. If you go into uh, Google Docs and you click on add-ons, and you click get add-ons, and you type in site font, that's what that's what drops down, and you 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 can you can you can see that when you're in there, you get insert citation, insert bibliography at the end. It also inserts a full full bibliography, and that's done. Just letting you see the functionality, what it that it looks like. I'm running out of time, but it looks like on the screen. But once you go in and you click on site on, it it walks us through. If, if you launch site on, it drops your reference, it drops all of your references, and you can choose which project. So that you can see that this is the project.